All right, this is Sunday, the beginning of our crafty week, and I have managed to make uh, several of these today, but here's one in some blue. Um, the blue one is the cuddle yarn from Big Twist. The yellow is definitely blanket yarn. The white here is that same cuddle yarn from Big Twist. All the eyes came from AliExpress. And then this is uh, Chanel Home Slam in the colorway Cambo Green. I love the safety eyes that I got from AliExpress. I'm definitely getting more. Uh, yep, I was just trying to show you that in the sunlight earlier. And yeah, here's Steve. He's going to be the Grim Reaper tomorrow at work. <laughs> All right, bye. Alright guys, I pulled out this yarn. This was um, the yarn I used for drama. One of the dramas, or two of the dramas. Um, the blue and pink dramas. But I still had a ton left because I think I had to pull out a second ball to finish drama. But I only needed so much of the second ball. So I am going to make... This is the beginning of a snake, um, like the purple one, and this is actually Premier Parfait yarn, and I believe the Premier Parfait is a number five bulky, and the safety eyes I use, I got these um, from a carousel swap, and right now I don't even remember who that started that swap. I just know that the swap box came to me from Debbie the Canadian Crotcheter and um, these eyes were in there I believe and it was like this little package of various eyes and I knew the colorful eyes would be the right size so I went ahead and grabbed the two gold ones and put them in. But do you remember this? I remember this little packaging as a uh, when you would get uh, a set of jacks. Does anybody remember playing jacks? Comment down below and let me know if you know what I mean when I talk about playing jacks. Ah, uh, but they used to come, you would get a set of them, and it would be in a little package just like this. So, yeah. And then the other thing that I worked on and finished is another octo. So, literally made four of these today. So, uh, I dare say this is a great project for a craft fair. And you see those eyes? Now you can see them a lot better. I love these eyes. I'm definitely going to get more of these from AliExpress. The only thing is you can only get usually 10 pair at a time. And 10 pair of these. I believe these are 18 millimeter. It was something like $4 or $3 and something. But I really love these eyes. I love all the ones I got from AliExpress. But anyway, this is um, Chanel Home Slim, I believe. And the colorway was Cambo Green. So now I have two of these I'm only going to do. I'm not going to do any more in this color, even though I have quite a bit um, still left in that ball. So, I don't know. I'm going to find something. Oh, you know what I could do? I have this pattern for like a chubby frog. Maybe that'll do it. We'll see. Okay. Happy Halloween, guys. That's my little candy corn, which I made years ago. I hope you had a great day. So this is the design that I'm trying to cut this morning, but you'll see later that I had a little bit of trouble with the machine. Some of it I figured out, um, but yeah, I was hoping at this point still to cut out about four to six designs, but had some trouble. So I did um, what I could in the time that I had, and I'm doing the voiceover because it was just too loud. Hey guys, it's Kim the Crafty Nomad. Uh, I just wanted to let you know, it's Tuesday morning. You can hear the cutter trying to do its thing in the background. I'm super worried that it's just not going to work. I've had some problems with it this morning. It keeps pausing. 
Uh, now it's currently seeming to go like gangbusters. I don't know what the issue is. Uh, but I'm just like, I really want to do the t-shirts. I forgot how much I liked making them until I made the two that I'm going to show you. Um, my silhouette is really, really old. Um, and it's to the point where it's not even a supported device anymore. So the goal will be that uh, to purchase a new cutter, uh, maybe hopefully during Black Friday if they have some good deals. That'll be the only thing I'm looking for. In the meantime, uh, I'm fingers crossed. I did get uh, two things cut this morning. One of them is not as it should be, but at least it got cut. And right now the machine stopped. I don't know if it's done or if it's just pausing because it's been pausing all morning. But anyway, I'm just kind of... I was hoping, but if it's going to be like this, we may not get um, t-shirts. We may get limited t-shirts. So, anyway, here's what I was able to. Um, I get my shirts from uh, Jiffy t-shirts. And I was able to make this one, Dear Santa. Define good. And uh, so I made two of those. One is one is a extra, one is a large, and one is a medium. So I'm hoping to have large, medium, and small, extra large, and XXL ready. But I'm not sure if I will. There's another one. And then I bought these burlap bags that I thought would be like cute gift bags. If I could press a cute design on. So that's the first one. And so if you draw the string, you know, you can put a cute little gift in here. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have these. I hope. Actually, these I'm pretty sure I can have because I can use the Joy. Not for this particular, this big of a design. But it doesn't need this big of a design. So we can figure out how to use the Joy for this. But my, my Cricut is just not... Not my cricket, my silhouette is acting up. So again, I'm gonna go over here and check it. It's completely stopped, and uh, we'll see if it actually cut the design or not. Um, and I'll let you guys know. But anyway, here's how far I am on the snake. You know, I probably got to do double this, and I still have a lot of the yarn left. So I'm keeping it in. This bag, I also have a big old ball of blanket yarn in here to do an octo when I finish with this or when I get tired of this. This bag I showed you when I hauled it, but it is from um, uh, Creative Chaos Crochet Coffee Yarn and Chaos. And I think it's Shell Shell, I think, is the designer. But it, it's so cute, and I got the, got the Notions pouch to come go with it. I just really liked it. And it's got a cute inner... So it matches the project. Uh -huh. Okay, that's it for this morning, guys. I'm so frustrated with this machine. All right, let's see what happens. Presto change, y'all. Okay, I just wanted to quickly show you. This is fresh off the cutter. And with the... You probably can't even see the lines. But this is how it looks when it comes off the cutter. I have to weed away all the unwanted parts. And then you should be able to see the design. Hopefully it worked. Okay, guys, I think the cricket was messing, not the cricket, the silhouette was messing up and pausing because of the internet connection. So we'll check it. Hopefully, it'll be okay. All right, bye. All right, guys, it's working. Um, it was user error. I figured out all the things that I was doing wrong. And most of it is just being impatient. Uh, but I figured it out. And here's the design all weeded out. And um, we're cutting another design. So I got quite a bit done tonight. I got this done. And yeah, I'm going to be pressing t-shirts really soon. All right, guys, I did it. I got the shirts done. I have four designs. And I have four sizes in each, except for one of them. I only have three sizes. But anyway, um, so I'm pretty satisfied. I am ready to go. I'm very excited. All right, look at these eyes, guys. <laughs> this is probably going to be my last crochet. Well, I'm going to try to do some more octos, but 
I finally finished this red one with the uh, sweet snuggles in the colorway red from Michaels Loops and Threads and then the blanket yarn um, extra uh, it came out so cute but look at the eyes I love them and these eyes came with that same back as the ones from um, Amazon but I was able to pop these ones on it feels like the plastic is just a little bit more malleable so these works but yeah AliExpress I hope you can see the sparkliness and then the detail with the uh, snowflake perfect for this one okay bye all right finished this last snake as well so let's see how many octos I can get done and then we're out we're done we're ready got my little sleeve that I got from Melanie from Melanie crochets this is definitely how I feel about office policies and certain policies and politics office politics I care about real politics but there you go hey guys all right so um what a night uh, I'm having a little bit of car stuff but it's fine it's fine it's fine anyway I wanted to come on and tell you um what, what did I come on okay show you some happy mail real quick um some stuff I got from the dollar 25 tree thank you Z um and then um I'll show you what I accomplished today and probably the rest of the night I'm just going to be putting price tags on to the price tags I already made. I'm going to put them onto the products. That's what I'm going to do tonight. I think. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let me start out showing you just um, how far I got on the one octo. I'm using this uh, Burnett Baby Sparkle. I don't know if you can see a bit of the sparkle you can and I got this far on my octa which I, it's pretty much done I, I've got to oh no I got one last tentacle to do here and then I gotta pick some eyes and um, put the safety eyes on and then I want to do another one in this color and then two pink ones at least okay and we'll see how that goes to have for the fair. And then I, I watch a lot of uh, market vlogs and a lot of people will bring stuff to be making while they're there. So I think what I'm going to do is bring the stuff to make octos and then, you know, uh, I can just keep adding them to the inventory. Okay, so that is how far I got on that project. And I hope to make this one one more two pink ones and then I'll be satisfied I think with the octos anyway that's it for that um next so we were talking on the live when Kayla was on from uh llama mama Kayla um about felt lips now I found somebody on Etsy but these actually are too small for my doll but I got a bag of these I'll link the Etsy seller I got hot pink and red and I feel like I should have got the bigger size. I thought that um, it was going to be, uh, I don't know, I thought that the one inch was going to be enough for my for my doll, but it's really not. I mean, she's, I, I put it on her face and they just look too small. Plus, the ones in the 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 ones in the pattern for the mermaid it's like they have like a little hole with a little red it's just not it's not a good substitute uh so i think the next thing is to really try and cut them myself but we'll see how that goes all that has to happen after the craft show right all right then i did get you guys know that you know the bag that put me on the map as a bag maker was my afro diva bag and i actually still have a ton of the afro diva fabric because when they whenever i found it i bought a lot of it it was super popular people love this bag and i guess i missed out first of all no one told me that fabric.com closed down um so i went there looking just to see what they might have and so they had this one, and it's the Afro Diva fabric, 
but it is called mosaic and it's because of the squares of color behind the divas so i didn't bring one of my um this actual name of this fabric is called electra and i believe it's alexander henry fabric yeah and uh i love this fabric so so much and on the original one the background was just one solid color so i found this and i'm going to be looking for more um of this because there were there was more than one colorway but i completely because i haven't been had any bag making mojo i haven't actually been buying fabric and even if i did have mojo who are we kidding i have enough fabric i don't need to buy any but i used to like look but i mean look at them look at them look at the girl this girl's lips you see that you see how cute she is so yeah bags are coming eventually not sure when might do a pre-order on this uh probably will make it in just the large size because that print is so big and you just don't want to lose the divas and if you cut it down too small you will lose the divas so these will be a larger size bag so i will keep you guys posted i'm so excited for that fabric okay so got that then okay so for the dollar tree i went to the dollar tree for some specific things um mainly though okay let me grab the bag okay i didn't go for this but i decided that on my sorry on my table i wanted to have something to draw kids in i'm just you know hoping and so i went to dollar tree uh, I was not actually looking for this, but I saw this candy jar. Cutest thing ever. It's all plastic, but it's so cute. So then I just bought a lot of these little lollipops to throw in there to have on the table. Now these are, I wasn't paying attention. These are kind of some weird flavors. <laughs> but they go along with the Christmas theme. So there's like caramel corn. There's uh, hot chocolate there's uh cotton candy there's marsh mini oh, it's marshmallow flavor so kind of weird but hey here you go hopefully kids are like oh it's sweet it's candy they'll take it but it's free it's not going to be for sale at all so uh just gonna put that right on the table and let kids have it okay so that's one thing i got at the dollar tree then uh Z sent me, I won't show you everything because some of this stuff is not relevant. But, you know, I guess Z must have saw my, um, saw my video when I was talking about the mermaid and how I'm like, you know, want to make sure she doesn't have a wobbly neck. And I've been watching different videos and I have seen other people do this. And I believe Linda Jean House told me about these. And, um... She, I believe, told me about these in the context of making posable animals or posable amigurumi. But I also think she talked about this as a thing to put in the neck to keep the neck from wobbling. Z yesterday sent me, or today, sent me a reel of a girl who used these in the neck area. And all it is is those bendable hair rollers. So I got a few packs of those. You see, see her putting them on? It's just those. When I was a kid, my sister curled her hair in a very similar way, but it was just with rags. It was just with, all you gotta do is just wrap it, you don't even need this. Wrapping your hair around some just strips of fabric will do the same thing. But anyway, got them. And they had them in two sizes, so I got them. Actually, I think they had them in three. Yeah, they had them in three sizes. So I got them in. This is the largest size. And then there's this one. These are about the same. Maybe just two sizes. And the small. Largest small, I think. So I got those. And I will let you know how those work out to help me stabilize the neck. I might try it on this particular one. And then I found these. To try and maybe... 
work with my display tomorrow. I'm going to maybe, I have some baskets. I'm thinking of hanging price tags, you know. Everything will have an individual price. But um, to like say, okay, all of this size is this price. You know, everything in this basket is this price kind of thing. So I'm going to use these. Then yes, yeah, Dollar Tree did not have any chalk. These are chalkboard tags. They had no chalk. So I don't know. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to wrap up this vlog because tomorrow's Friday. I don't think I'm going to have any more else to say. And then the next time you see me, hopefully I will be able to vlog the actual uh, craft show uh, I'm going to try to bring my little thing that I have the phone on now and try to screw it to something so I can, you know, kind of film a little bit of the setup and just vlog the day. So, I don't know. It's my first one. I'm a, I'm already getting nervous, so I might not vlog anything, but I'm going to wrap this one up. So, either you're going to see a vlog of the day or you're going to see a recap of the day. <laughs> only uh anyway that's it that's all i will see you guys post craft fair